Hello YouTube, this is Jack. This video is part of my full song tutorial series, in which we take songs from various grades and from my channel and break them down into manageable steps, so you can learn these songs at home straight away and understand the process of practicing them more effectively. If you like these videos, make sure to check out the rest of the full song tutorials. These videos were made with students and teachers in mind. Also check out my new book, The Practical Tutor. If you are interested in becoming a drums teacher, or you want to find new and improved strategies for practicing, learning or teaching, or if you want to provide more value as a music teacher, this book has everything you need. Links are in the description. Also consider subscribing to keep up to date with the release of new tutorials and videos. Subscribing is free so you can always change your mind, and it supports me in making new videos. Today we are looking at the song Bend and Snap. This song is a bit more complicated than Kaiser Roll. There are some more difficult parts to look out for. In our first section, we have a simple hi-hat beat, but there are no snares, just kicks. This is followed by a small fill made up of a hi-hat and kick, a big rest, followed by two snares. This fill is very easy to time. We want to play the hi-hat and kick on the one, a rest on the two, and the three, with the snares landing on the and of the three, and the four. Let's listen to see what this would sound like. Okay, time to practice that intro. Let's take the progressive approach again, starting with 50% speed and working our way up in 5% increments. So, next section, very straightforward. It's a high up beat with a variety of kick patterns. Not much to explain here, just look out for the kick variations.
So next part, we move over to the ride, a very straightforward beat again. However, there is a different style of beat on every other bar. For this beat, we don't have as many rides as we normally do, they're just crotchets instead. So we need to count this part a little differently. We can use phonetic rhythms to help us here. A phonetic rhythm is a word that describes how a group of notes should be played. So in this instance, we can use the words tea and coffee to help us understand this section. So here we have tea, tea, coffee, tea. Try your best not to put an extra ride on that kick in the coffee. That happens often when practicing this for the first time. This section also ends with a hi-hat beat, made up of snares and a fill on the following bar. This fill can be described with words too. We can use tea, coffee, coffee, tea. But our third word, coffee, we need to remove the first note, as it's a rest. Once you hear the rhythm, it'll make plenty of sense. Let's give it a go. Now it's time to put this whole section together.
Our last section is very similar to the first and second section. Very similar beat and very similar patterns. Just watch out for the ending as it has a strange combination. Let's get this sped up.
Now that we've learnt all of the individual sections, it's time to put them all together again. We'll start practicing the song at 60% and we'll put it up 5% at a time until you reach full speed. Good luck!
hope this video helps you practice this song. It's a good all-round song for you to choose for your exam. Stay tuned for more videos.